غير ذي زرع عند بيتك المحرم ربنا ليقيم الصلاة فاجعل أفئدة من الناس فاجعل أفئدة من الناس تهوي إليهم وارزقهم من الثمرات من الثمرات لعلهم يشكرون ربنا إنك تعلم ما نخفي وما نعلن وما يخفى على الله من شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء الحمد لله الذي وهب لي على الكبر إسماعيل وإسحاق إن ربي لسميع الدعاء رب اجعلني مقيم الصلاة ومقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب. Our dear parents, in these ayat, our Prophet Ibrahim عليه السلام placed his son in the middle of the desert. And at that point, Mecca was a desert. There's no life, there is no water, no people, no plants, nothing. And he made this dua for his son Ismail to make this place as a, as a city. At that time, it was nearly impossible. But subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted our prophet dua and make Mecca what it is right now. So our dear parents, Please make dua for yourself, make dua for your uh, children and um, make them hear you <laughs> doing that dua for them. And Jazakumullah khair everyone, thank you for attending. Assalamu alaikum. Now we have our principal, uh, Sister Naya Nader to do the principal address. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so today is your day, so I am not going to take much of your time. Rather, I will just go very quickly over some of the slides about our progress, uh, which we have made so far, and about some updates. And if you have any question about that, please save it till we open our round table, inshallah. So, um, alhamdulillah, we are done with our second semester, midterm. Alhamdulillah, the finals are around the corner. Uh, we've been evaluating our students for our younger kids, be free to grade before we uh, were used, utilizing this um, continuous evaluation plan um, so that not to give them any stress of exam anxiety. And uh, for our older kids, grade five and eight, uh, we have a thorough traditional examination pattern. Uh, about a Sakina program, uh, this program, uh, we have started this program this year only, alhamdulillah. It's been very successful, successful. It is about our special need kids, alhamdulillah. It's, it has a very simplified and uh, engaging curriculum. 
we have professional trained teachers. So if you or anyone you know needs to know about this program, this address is shared in the chat box. You can copy and share it with your family and friends, whoever needs that. Our youth class, Alhamdulillah, it's been our pilot program. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, it's been so successful that inshallah next year, we are going to have two youth classes, <clears throat> junior and senior. And uh, this youth class uh, has a very engaging, tarbiya oriented content. It is based on Yakin's curriculum and we also utilize some other resources. As far as the evaluations, we haven't done any evaluation as of yet, but we plan to have a debate as a form of evaluation by the end of this term. Uh, based on its curriculum, um, we are going to have a workshop very soon, that is March 28th. Uh, it's been uh, almost a, after a month, exactly after a month. Um, it will be uh, based on the gender topic. It's going to be a very beneficial program. I would request all of you to make sure and mark your calendars not to miss it. Then, alhamdulillah, our youth, they are also running a blog by the name The Core. You must have heard about it or read the articles. Alhamdulillah, it's going very, very smooth. Alhamdulillah, we are, have many participants. And um, this, is the, this link is shared in the chat box. You can copy the link from here. And if your child wants to participate, he or she is more than welcome to participate. Our school's magazine is also about to come out. And if you, your child wants to participate, here's the link, which is also shared in the chat box. Okay, the enrollment in the tuition status. I was looking at uh, the status we had once we had our first round table. That was in October, 2020. Uh, so let's see, we, they, then we had 139 students and now we have 135 students, which shows your commitment and your satisfaction, alhamdulillah. And as far as the tuition, uh, alhamdulillah, we are able to receive 80% of the tuition fee. Uh, we gathered 9% towards our Sponsor a Child program. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all those who contributed to this sponsor a child fund. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase your risk and accept it from you. Ameen, summa ameen. Registration by program. Um, as you can see, our major, um, uh, the students, major area is covered by our Sunday school because it comprises of classes from pre-kindergarten to grade eight. So there are, uh, there are 92 students. Youth class being a pilot program has 39 students, which is amazing, subhanAllah. Sakina program has four students. This is the first time ever we started this program. Fee collection as of this month, uh, today is 89%. Alhamdulillah, we are hoping to receive the rest 11%, inshallah. Uh, expense for the year, the major expenses are books, graduation, and staff salaries. And you can see major portion goes to the staff salaries. Revenue expense and expected deficit. If, inshallah, we hope we will receive that 11% due. After that, we will have a deficit of 3000 So you can help us to overcome not to have this deficit, but to have some funds for the next year by paying your dues, sponsoring a child, or volunteering, that also helps. So um, let's give uh, two minutes. And these, um, you can do a Satka Ejariya on behalf of your parents or um, like for yourself, and uh, this uh, is the link. Brother Shahada must have shared it in the chat box. And I am going to be the first one to sponsor a child here. I will start the timer and I'm going to sponsor a child also. 
timer started. Inshallah, two minutes to pay your dues or to sponsor a child. Inshallah. Inshallah. Now I'll go back to my slide. Uh, brother, uh, give them two minutes to inshallah. Sure. Inshallah. And I'm also trying to sponsor. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Now, uh, this is our volunteer opportunities here. Uh, you see the link, which I'm going to copy and paste for anyone that would like to be a volunteer. I'll put it on our chat. And you like to go to the presentation mode? Certainly. My apology, I just had a little lag in the computer. I'm just starting to get over it. There is a question uh, from Sadazim. Uh, what is the amount to sponsor? You can sponsor a dollar, a cent, or you can sponsor a month fee, total semester, one semester, or a total fee. It's up to you. There's an option to donate whatever you feel like. And it's it would be a good idea to donate in the name of your parents, inshallah. Inshallah. And now we'll have our sister Maryam and then she will go over our upcoming uh, extracurricular activities. Go ahead, sister. Uh, thank you, brother Tarek. Um, so yeah, so my name is Maryam Anan and I'm the program manager. And also I take uh, Islamic studies for grade three. Um, I'll tell you, I'll inform you about the upcoming events for this year. Uh, Brother Tariq, if you can move to the next slide, please. Certainly. Is that fine now? Yes, yes, it's good. Okay. So, um, parents, as you can see that we have this uh, few dates listed. Um, so next week is going to be the last class before the spring break. And uh, the, the kids are going to go on spring break. So March 14th will be the spring break and then their um, exam review and everything. These days we are preparing for a school festival, which is on March 21st. And I request all of you to please join us. Um, we'll send you a Zoom link uh, and you guys can come and see what we are. These days, all of the classes are preparing for the school festivals. Um, each uh, one of them will get a chance to show about um, uh, about their contribution, what they have done. The theme of that festival is I love Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And let me tell you that everybody is working very, very hard, hard towards that festival. So that is on March 21st. Um, we will for sure be reminding you again um, and you all can see. Um, and then uh, and then there is the quiz competition and kirat competition. For the kirat competition, we are doing it in collaboration with, with the masjid. Um, there's, a, there's a form to fill through which you can register your child. And in the classes, or the teachers will be telling which surahs to prepare. There's a, there's, a, there's a long list. So we will be keep um, uh, informing the students and the Quran advisor, uh, Sister Hadil, will take care of it. So that is on uh, April 24th, and they'll, they'll get time to prepare for it. So um, yeah, and then there is the Ramzan break and on 
the graduation is on May 16, 2021. So you don't, you guys don't have to uh, like remember all of the dates. Yeah, like there are too many, but we will, uh, we will keep reminding you. But all, all what we ask is that uh, support us and do attend our events because our teachers and the kids, they spend a lot of time uh, in the in the classes and then like rehearsing about the about uh, the events. So um, if you can join us and uh, you know support your kids. Uh, in, in it. So yeah, uh, that's it from my side. Hey, excellent. Well, Thank you, guys. sister. Oh. Now it's time to have fun. Let's have some raffle draw. I'm going to share with you the screen for the raffle draw right now. Uh, um, just men I want to mention that uh, in our registration form, we mentioned those who will submit their questions will be entered in the raffle draw. So these are the guys who like share their questions who sub, who registered themselves. So <laughs> those who didn't, they lose it, <laughs> the chance. <laughs> Come on, uh, Brother Tahir. Okay, here. so now I, I had the names of five attendees today for our parents. So I'm gonna go a spin right now. I put all the names right here. And let's make all see. your duas, come on. The all those one. participants. <laughs> yeah, are there any other names would you like me to add to it? Uh, no, um, I didn't receive any other registration. Okay, so let's see who's the lucky one. Hmm. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The lucky winner is. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Inshallah, you will receive your $50 Amazon gift card. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now we'll have uh, Brother Shazada Sufyan. Our PQO chair will do the open floor uh, to suggestions and ideas. Go ahead, please, brother. Thank you, brother. Salam alaikum, everybody. Thank you, sir. So, you know, parents, I think <clears throat> many of you would have known me from the time I spent in the administrative office, but also I am a parent. Uh, my elder daughter already graduated from the Sunday school, and my younger daughter is still part of the uh, student uh, body here. So, you know, as I've shared with, you know, in the past with many of you, build, you know, Islamic education in the Sunday school is all about building the future Muslim leaders of America. And it's really important that, you know, the time that the kids spend in the Sunday school is augmented by the time that you spend with your kids, teaching them Islamic values, family values, and other education. So in the, in the Sunday school, we are always striving very hard, you know, uh, the teachers, the volunteers, Alhamdulillah, everybody is putting in a lot of time and effort, and of course the students as well, to make sure that we are getting quality education and we're getting the most of the time that we spend learning. But certainly there's always room for improvement. And you know, as part of that exercise is a partnership between parents and teachers. We really would like to solicit your inputs, your questions, on what we can do to improve the overall quality of education, what everybody is getting out of it. So, you know, as part of that exercise, what we had done was uh, we had provided the incentive as part of the registration process to get the $50 gift card. And uh, we had collected some questions. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna read uh, some of the questions that we received online. And then once we are done with that, um, I would like to open the floor for questions. Feel free to ask questions live or enter it into the chat window and we will you know, do our best to answer those questions and follow up with any action item as appropriate. In so let me start yeah. with the, yeah. I, I'm let me sorry, start. Can, can yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Sajan again. Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to say that uh, we have our Quran advisor here. We have Islamic studies advisor here. We have our youth director here. We have a program manager here, and uh, we have uh, your principal here. <laughs> so feel free to ask, ask as many questions as you can. Yeah, absolutely. And we are anxious to get your questions. So let's start with you know a very interesting question. You know, a lot of parents spend time <clears throat> with their kids 
augmenting the effort at Sunday school. One of the parents has asked that, you know, their daughter is really doing Alhamdulillah very well in the Sunday school. And she's really interested in doing more. So is there an opportunity for kids in any class, you know, to go forward and maybe specifically for Quran, be part of a higher grade based on their ability, not necessarily just on the class that they have been assigned to. So I'll ask this question to your sister Naya. Yes, um, there is an opportunity, why not? Um, but this question was specifically for Quran. Uh, but if it was for both the subjects, we will uh, give a small um, assessment test. And if he or she um, is uh, able to go uh, do good in that assessment test, we will definitely uh, put her in a higher grade. Uh, but this question was specifically for Quran. And I've been discussing this with our Quran advisor, Sister Hadil, she's here. And she would be a better person to answer about that. Sister Hadil, please. Okay, Jazakumullah khair, everyone. Um, actually, um, uh, it's it's been like, uh, subhanAllah, uh, it's been like a short time for me here uh, in the US, but uh, subhanAllah, I, I've been practicing so much with the Islamic centers and, and the different organizations who serve the Muslim community. And um, actually not, not only because I'm a member of uh, a Salam school, but uh, I really love the way that our school approaching the children because it's not only the memorizing and this is like uh, something as a, as a parents we have to be 100% aware of that um, what we are really doing so it's not only memorizing it's not only the amount of memorizing and that this this is very important that we are approaching the kids so they can understand as well so, uh, and this is really important because most of other uh, Islamic centers, they, they just um, look at the, the quantity, but uh, in a Salam school, uh, I believe, mashallah, they do look at the quality as well. So, and with the quality, we have two different aspects we have to look at, the quality of the read, the reciting itself of the Quran, the maharaj and the um, uh, sifat, the letters, how we have to pronounce it correctly, and the understanding of the ayat itself. And this is, this is also very important. And uh, we do give a time for both of them. So sometimes me, for example, as a parent, uh, my daughter, she, she memorized the whole Juz'ah Amma, why we are going back to, to the Juz'ah Amma, but Yes, mashallah, you did great job as a parent and you, mashallah, you followed your kids and they do a, a very good memorization. But uh, it, of course, we need to look at the quality because that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requested from us, that to tadabbur, to look at carefully to the Quran, to understand it and to read it very, very, in a, in a very... Um, um, right, the correct way, the way that our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was reading the Quran by. So, um, so uh, for that parent who sent that question, uh, I really admire your attitude. Jazakumullah khair. Uh, keep that great job, but this is our perspective. And inshallah, for the next times, of course, we will um, like uh, engage you to know more what really happening with the with the children and what the the, the input we are doing with the uh, with your children jazakumullah khair thank you <clears throat> no, that that's excellent so let me go to the second question you know obviously this year has been a learning experience for all of us the medium of delivery has been a challenge i think all of us have adjusted for the past year or so. But the question that has come is around, specifically around the um, ex final year examination. So the question is, uh, will we have the usual standard end of year exam or uh, would we adopt it, uh, a different philosophy here because of the uh, online medium of education challenges? Sister Naya? Inshallah, inshallah, we will have the standard 
uh, traditional thorough examination this year, inshallah, but it will be from grade five and above. For our younger students, uh, we've been reading many articles about like um, the this exam phobia kind of thing, the anxiety. It does not leave good impression on the brains of our younger kids. So we don't want them to take stress like, oh my goodness, uh, we are going to have an exam, exam tomorrow. And um, what I've noticed in our first uh, semester, uh, the first uh, semester though, um, we try not to tell the parents and the students that they are going to be evaluated, but somehow uh, it leaked out that yes, they are going to have an evaluation. And I saw a family who were very, very upset with their child that the child hasn't performed well. And the child was literally in tears. And can you imagine the child's age? She was four years old in kindergarten. So I don't want to see these kind of episodes in with our younger kids. So that is why we have eliminated this uh, traditional way. We are evaluating our child continuously. One day a, child, a teacher evaluates one student, one day another student without telling the parents or the students. So we are reviewing ourselves with the kids and the homework we gave, uh, it is for the parents to just sit with the child and go over the homework. We want them to learn. We just don't want them to get first, second, third, this position, that position. No, we want them to learn. So we want to make easy on them the learning. We want them to start loving to come to school, start loving to learn, start loving to read not to make them that this thing, because of this thing, my father was mad at me and because this thing, my mother was mad at me. No, this is the place where I have the most fun. This is the place <clears throat> where I enjoy, where everybody loves me. Nobody yells at me, across, is cross bad at me that why haven't you performed well? The teacher uh, in a very subtle way, she keeps stressing the need of learning, 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 but not stressing the child. I hope I answered the uh, uh, question. Um, am I clear? Thank you, sister. That was <clears throat> that was excellent. Um, you know, as as a parent, it really uh, makes a lot of difference to me that the teachers and volunteers really make it a fun effort, sure. and my kid is motivated to come to class and learn. Right. Because learning is not just on Sunday, it's every day. And again, it's lifelong. But I, with that, what I would like to do is I would like to open the uh, floor to any questions. Um, please, you know, either unmute your microphone and speak up or put it in the chat room. Let me see. Uh... Assalamu alaikum, Brother Sufyan. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Sayyid. Sir, I just want to. Uh, first, uh, Salaam Alaikum to the community. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I want to go back to, and I miss uh, the sister's name who was uh, talking about the Maharaj and, and the, uh, you know, the right way to learn Quran. And uh, uh, obviously we would all agree with her, what she said. And uh, just as a quick suggestion, because uh, I would speak for myself. Uh, not too long ago is when I realized, you know, how simple yet how big the difference, how simple the Maharaj are as far as understanding what they are, yet how big the difference is in how we say it. And I would speak for myself. So in a forum like that, uh, it might be helpful if we had, uh, and not today, but maybe in the near future, maybe for our youth director, especially I think this is more probably for the parents like myself um, to understand that, you know, uh, there is a huge, huge difference in how we uh, say each Arabic word that's in Quran uh, versus especially, uh, I mean, again, try to keep my comments short here, mm -hmm. but somehow uh, maybe a short education session for the parents like myself who didn't know this for a long time. Uh, and I'm talking about, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes and maybe in the next time we're together as a community 
where uh, it could be as simple as, and I'm still learning, I'm no expert yet, and hopefully, inshallah, Allah will make it easy for me to be better understand and better learn. Uh, but you're absolutely right. Uh, what sister was talking about is, and it might be helpful us as a parent to realize uh, that the simple pronunciation of each letter is a huge difference in how we say it and how we hear it. So I'll keep my, uh, I think I already took too much time, apologize for that, but I just wanted to echo that and appreciate everything you all are doing. Uh, Jazakallah khair. I couldn't agree more with you, Brother Syed. And uh, you know, hopefully there'll be opportunity <clears throat> for all the parents as well to you know, uh, have a session, maybe not five minutes, maybe 30 minutes on some of the more critical things that you know, we often overlook. So may Allah give all of us tawfiq to go and get that education. But Hassan, uh, you know, um, I'm wondering if you would have any comment on this. Yes. On the future offering of it? Yes. Uh, one, I would appreciate all the teachers and Sister Nayyid, Jazakallah for your leadership. May Allah bless you immensely and uh, for this new ways of thinking uh, so the students are not stressed and such. Um, this is very true, alhamdulillah. We need to uh, have more communication on the, the behind the scenes that why are we doing uh, X over Z? Uh, because today's challenges are very different. So I speak to kids who are subhanAllah leaving Islam. And they were actually at one point in the HIF school. I know of those stories as well. So there is definitely a disconnect where it's coming to their tongues, but it's not going to their hearts. And definitely we need to work on that more. And that's what I appreciate the teachers taking their time. Uh, I myself in the youth class as well, the principal, the, all the directives is to take our time for them to internalize the topics rather than, uh, especially of today's time, alhamdulillah, every single week there's a new trend. Every single week there's something new happening and we have to deal with it. Uh, we have to communicate with them because our youth are going to experience, like the last five years have been so different than the 15 years, all the 20 years before that combined. So subhanAllah, every year 2020 by itself, so much has happened. Um, so definitely we are continuing to uh, look into this type of methodology. I do have a Tuesdays, I do have a session that I do on Facebook and YouTube uh, where we do talk about what's how behind the scenes work sometime. Um, so we started last week. So we'll do more of those as long as far as the Quran itself. I think that also needs to be done. Maybe we'll talk to Sinayir and see maybe we can uh, uh, do a session just on how important it is to talk about the Makharaj aspect and um, the, the difference between like the right way and the wrong way and the, the way that Allah SWT wants us to do it and the way actually it will make a difference, inshallah. We can also speak to Sheikh Mamdu uh, to inshallah join us as well. Jazakallah. Inshallah. Thank you, Brother Hassan. I would go back to another question I see on the chat window. I think many of us can relate this. Um, question really is, my daughter, she's in eighth grade, we're not offering any classes after eighth grade. Is there plans to have a ninth grade next year? Or, or what are the opportunity for us? Can we volunteer? How can we you know, continue the you know, connection with Sunday school? Brother Hassan, I think you would be the best one to answer this. <laughs> That's one of the youth class. So the youth class is, uh, the first year of the youth class was this year, alhamdulillah. And the youth class basically comprised of students from ninth grade, till 12th, 12th grade. Uh, but once we will finish our curriculum, imagine the kids who are in ninth grade right now, when they will be 10th grade next year, they'll be not interested in doing the same curriculum again. So definitely we'll have a new curriculum. So next year, inshallah, the plan is to have two classes uh, for the youth class. One will be ninth grade only, which will take the curriculum that we have implemented this year and the 10th to 12th, inshallah, will have a new curriculum by itself until we finish all the four grades. And then inshallah in three years time, uh, we will have a separate 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th uh, with different curriculum. So we are thinking ahead, uh, alhamdulillah, as much as we can. Inshallah, slowly but surely we'll get there. That's, that's great news. But I 
uh, don't have any more questions in the chat window. Um, any more questions live? Assalamualaikum. This is Ruhi. Um, I don't have a question, but I do have a comment that I would like to share. Um, and this is especially for Sister uh, Samira, who asked that question about her daughter moving from eighth grade uh, into ninth grade and wondering what, um, you know, what she can do and how she can continue. So as a parent, I'd like to share that our daughter, she's in 10th grade this year, and she's in, uh, in the youth class in the first year. And um, it's been a very rewarding, enriching experience. And I would encourage all parents who have children in that high school um, sort of level and stage um, and are, you know, want to continue to be connected with the community, with the masjid, um, with their teachers and staff, and just share ideas. The youth class is a really, really good opportunity for uh, them to participate in and be a part of. Um, they have a class every Sunday. And uh, my daughter really looks forward to um, attending the class for the reason that, you know, the questions, the topics that they discuss as part of the curriculum, they're very topical, they're very current. There are uh, some difficult discussions, difficult topics, but things that children at that age group, um, you know, really want to share, want to talk about in an environment where they feel safe and comfortable. Um, and it's been really great. And just watching, uh, you know, uh, watching her go through it, sharing what she learned, and, and also um, hearing about uh, other, you know, other children speak and uh, peers talk, it's been really, really rewarding. And I think that level of confidence that these uh, children at that age group have had to discuss difficult topics and current topics and um, just feel part of, uh, you know, a larger group and feel connected um, has been a great, uh, great, very, very good thing for them. So I would strongly encourage any parent with kids in that age group to seriously consider joining uh, this group. And Brother Hassan, thank you so much to you and the entire team for making, um, you know, making these weekly lessons interesting and engaging. And, you know, uh, the kids really want to be part of it. So thank you for that. Thank you, Sister Rohi. Okay, is everybody done with questions? Should we move on? Um, okay. Is there any question <clears throat> anyone uh, wants to say anything? We still have time. But Sofian, how much time we have? Uh, we have we have time. We have another time, yes. you know, ten minutes. Uh, yeah. Can you can I just add one one thing? Um, sure. to what uh, uh, one of the parents uh, um, shared previously, Jazakumullah uh, for for your um, intention to to correct the maharaj and safat. And uh, I believe that the example it says whenever there there's a will there's a way. And I believe whenever there's a will, Allah will make the way easier, inshallah. So I believe, alhamdulillah, we, we have, like, we can plan something for the parents. And uh, since you have the, 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 the ability to, and the intention to do it, it will be great. We will definitely be, be more than happy. And there is a lot of uh, materials that we know that you are busy as a parent. Uh, so we can share like uh, materials you can uh, review while you are waiting for your kids uh, to in the, at the doctor appointment or something. We always, every day we have that little short time, 15 minutes. So you can uh, also uh, as a parent by yourself go through these materials and mashallah uh, through the YouTube we have a uh, great brothers alhamdulillah who Allah make them make these materials easier and uh, um, we can you can we definitely can work on the maharaj and safa jazakallah khair thank you very much for this uh, great uh, uh, suggestion and for anyone who have any other suggestion for the Quran program, I would really appreciate that you contact Sister Nayer uh, to tell her what, what do you think, what do you feel like, what you think it might think, it make things because at the end of each year, we, we have this time of planning and we always make an evaluation for the whole year and what we have and we definitely consider your suggestions. So Jazakumullah khair. Bye.
Actually, I had a question on sure. the field trip. Uh, last few <laughs> years, we always had fun field trips. <laughs> we went to the zoo several times. Mm. Every year, it has always been a tradition that we would go for ice skating. Unfortunately, this year, it has not been possible. So I just wanted to ask this question to the you know, principal and everybody. Once, uh, alhamdulillah, the effects of pandemic are behind us, what is our view on reinstating those field trips? We will. We will for sure. I love field trips too. <laughs> Inshallah, as soon as uh, this pandemic fear is over, everybody gets vaccinated. We will. And uh, one which is scheduled field trip for Sunday school, but we will do do one for the one we missed. <laughs> Inshallah. Next year, we will have two field trips. Inshallah. And um, the that day, um, the Islamic Art Festival, we had that virtual field trip to the yeah, art yeah. festival, remember? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, we really, really, um, like, thinking the circumstances, taking in, um, like, view of the circumstances we've been through. Uh, we did great, and it is all because of the participation of the parents, like you all, who participated. I'm, I'm really, really grateful to all the parents who are there for their kids all the time, alhamdulillah, and to my team and to all the teachers who have taken like extra mile to make this virtual learning fun because virtually learning virtually in front of a computer screen was not easy. So, and our teachers weren't trained to do that. So we did quick trainings and, you know, um, it was not easy. Most, uh, some of our teachers weren't even equipped how to use PowerPoints, how to use Excel. And they they all learned uh, in the, just to make things easier. And now I, I see whenever I go in the classes, teachers are using PowerPoints, whiteboards, YouTube videos and games. They do different games in the classes. So I really, really appreciate all my teachers who have done extra, extra mile to make the learning fun and exciting. So over to you, Brother Sophia. I have a question as a parent. Yes, Brother Imran. Yes, Brother Imran. Uh, what are we doing to keep uh, the kids' attention during the class, uh, how do we make sure that kids aren't doing other things, uh, paying attention as the teacher calling on them frequently to make sure that they are paying attention, stuff like this? Hmm. Any comment on that? Yes. Uh, we try to ask them to keep the cameras on, but uh, they are uh, like in the youth class. I've noticed that the kids do not turn on their cameras. Um, which is discouraging, but uh, I was told that this is illegal to force the child to turn on the camera. So <laughs> I couldn't say anything, but uh, in, uh, during our classes for Sunday school from pre-K to grade eight, Alhamdulillah, the kids are keeping their cameras turned on. We give them brain breaks like uh, after every 15 minutes or so. Uh, we keep, uh, we one, like give them activities like uh, physical activities. We ask them to do some exercise, some jumping jacks, so that uh, to just cut off the monotony of just listening to the lecture. And we, uh, we tried that instead of keeping it a lecture type of class, we, we are keeping it engaging discussion and activity type like students are uh, encouraged to talk and participate and play games to keep a pet uh, animal with them, to keep a toy with them, to share their uh, stories. So we are trying to keep this thing uh, light and uh, not to keep it monotonous. So Alhamdulillah, I've seen uh, kids, they are, they are focusing, except the youth class. I, I'm sure they are focusing too, but they do not turn on their cameras. Maybe it's the age the age thing, which we can't do anything. <laughs> so I hope I answer your question, uh, Brother Imran. Yes, 
Alhamdulillah. Okay, we have time for one more question. Actually, Brother Sofian, I think parents are so satisfied that they don't have any question. We are doing so much <laughs> communication, they know everything. <laughs> <laughs> so no question means we are doing good. A fantastic job. I, I certainly would uh, say that. Well, what do we say in Urdu? Dil ke behlane ko ghalib ye khayal achcha hai. Dil ko. So if anybody not satisfied, please come up. <laughs> Any any question? Any suggestion? Doesn't have yeah, to be please. a question. How can we better? And we know we need to improve a lot on a lot of things, and we are trying our level best. All right. Looks like we're out of time for this mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> this topic. So what I would like to do is thank all the parents for participating. Thank you for your questions, and also thank you for the effort. I know all parents are putting on their kids for Islamic education outside the Sunday school. Back to you, uh, back to you, Bilder. Sure, brother, thank you. And we'll uh, have uh, final comments uh, by uh, brother Imran Mutun, our uh, committee chair. Um, just a very quick comment. I think it's already been said. Thank you to the staff for being here to answer all the questions. Thank you for PTO organizing, organizing the event. And thanks to all the parents for participating here today and sending the questions. We wanna keep this com communication open. You can reach us through any, any, any uh, possible ways that you like. You can go through PTO if you have any concern, you can reach to the star directly. If you like, you can reach out to me if there is some concern that not being addressed. And it's of course above me also as a council. So this is a chain of command for the weekend is school. If you have any concern, reach out to the staff, PTO, then principal, then myself, and there's always council present to answer all the questions. And thank you everybody. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Brother Imran. And Jazakumullah khayran kathiran. And we'll uh, conclude our meeting today with dua. اللهم اجعل لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك سبحان الله العظيم Thank you so much dear parents for attending today جزاك الله خيرا كثيرا everybody may Allah سبحانه وتعالى accept from you and give بركة in your time Amen. Amen, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum sister Nair. Wa alaikum as-salam wa wa barakatuh sister Nasreen. No, this is sister Dua. Sister Dua. Sister Dua. Sorry. No, no, that's fine. Yes. Yes, yes Dua. Uh, no, I just want to say uh, salam alaikum because I got to leave. <laughs> oh, wa alaikum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, sister. Fi amanillah. Fi amanillah. Ma as-salamah.